Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math lumped geometry challenge. And here we have a nice right triangle in which the area of this triangle are given by 98 centimeters square and the length of one side of this triangle is 28 and uh, this angle is denoted by x. So here our claim is to find the value of this angle x. So that here first we label this triangle and uh, we call this corner as uh, by capital A and we denote this by B and this corner by C. So uh, here you know that the side opposite to the uh, B is denoted by small letter of B and the side opposite to this vertex A is denoted by small a and this side is denoted by small c. And after that uh, you already know about uh, in right triangle the uh, side opposite to the right angle is called its hypotenuse and similarly the side which join these two angles is called the base of the right triangle and this side is called the perpendicular of the this right triangle. So here uh, you know about the trigonometric ratios uh, which we define in a right triangle. Uh, so here we define cos of x equals to uh, base over hypotenuse. So here you see that this is our base and perpendicular and hypotenuse. So uh, we denote our cos of x by base over hypotenuse. And uh, you see in the diagram we have our base is denoted by small letter a and hypotenuse is denoted by 28. And it is equals to cos x. So this value implies that we move this 28 in the left hand side and you get the value of a equals to 28 times of cos of x. So here we call this as equation number 1. And now uh, if you know about the area of triangle in which the length of two sides and their corresponding angles. And so you if you have two sides and one angle then we use uh, the area formula of right triangle in this form. So here first we write uh, the formula. So we have area of the right triangle equals to half time of length of the sides. So here you have length of one side is denoted by A and the length of other side is denoted by B and we have sine of the angle between A and B. So here we write the sine of angle uh, which we make that the, these two sides A and B. So here we denote the angle between A and B is X. So this will become sine of x. So now here we put uh, all the values here and you move towards the final destination. It is the value of this angle. We find the value of this angle. So here we are given that the area of this right triangle is 98. So we substitute all these values here and you obtain 98 equals to 1 over 2 times of a. And we have the value of a is 28 times of cos x. So we substitute it here 28 times of cos of x and the value of b is again 28. So we substitute it here into sine of the angle x. So now here we uh, simplify this equation and we move toward the final answer. So here you see that these are cancelled by each other and we get 14. Uh, so here you obtain 14 times of here we have uh, 28 and we write it as 14 times of 2. So, so 14 times of 2 will become 28 and we have this is the sine of x and this is the cos of x. So now here you focus on this factor uh, and we see that 2 times of sine x into cos x equals to sine of 2x. So here we use the double angle identity. So according to the double angle identity 2 sin x and cos x equals to sin 2x. And now we move this 14 times of 14 in the left hand side 
and we obtain 98 divided by 14 times of 14 equals to sine of the angle 2x. So now here we ca cancel the terms uh, and you see that we have so when we multiply 14 times of 14 so uh, it will be equals to 98 divided by 196 equals to sine of the angle 2x so now we uh, divide 98 by 196 then you easily get 1 over 2 equals to sine of the angle 2x so here we move this sine in the left hand side and we obtain sine inverse of 1 by 2 equals to 2 times of x and here we use the uh, inverse trigonometric identity and we find the angle of or we find the value of sine inverse 1 over 2 and you know that the value of uh, so here we write value of sine 30 equals to 1 by 2 and when we move the sign to the uh, left and right hand side then you get 30 degree equals to sine inverse of 1 by 2 so now we use this value in the left hand side of this equation and we see that uh, 30 degree equals to sine inverse of 1 by 2 and we put this value here so we get 30 degree equals to 2 times of x and here we move this 2 in the left hand side and you get x equals to 30 degree divided by 2 and now we simply cancelled these terms and you see that 2 15s are 30 so here we get the value of x will be equals to 15 degree so if you focus on the uh, given triangle because here we need to find the value of this angle x so now uh, here we find the value of this x will be equals to 15 degree so this is the our final conclusion of this question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos